Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMT back with a brand new video. And today we're going to be focusing on guys that are brand new to ACC. And even though we are in 2024, it's apparent to me there is still lots of guys jumping over to ACC, trying to get involved in the community. So this is going to be the best video to how you can get started and get yourself involved in all the races on ACC. Let's go. So guys, this might be a bit of a long video, but I'm going to try and get through as much as I can for those who are new to the game, wanting to start out. And obviously the first thing is getting your safety rating up. I don't think you can go online straight away with ACC. I've had more than 9,000 hours in this game and it was a long, long time since I had to do my safety rating. But from what I remember, there are a couple of things that you can do that can boost your safety rating a little bit quicker than, you know, just jumping in and just trying to drive against the AI. So for me, obviously going to single player, some people like to do like a championship. Me personally, I like to do a quick race, put it on like, 15 minutes now obviously depending on your skill level i wouldn't have this on 100 what i would do for if i was new is definitely put the aggression down that's so the ai don't just dive bomb you and then obviously that will even if the ai crash into you that's going to ruin your safety rating so you want to put the aggression down a little bit um maybe a nice skill level to start off with maybe around um well, you can't go lower than 80. So maybe around maybe around 90, that's in the middle, depending on where you're at in terms of ability. Um, opponent count. Now, this does depend quite a lot on your computer. If, you're, if you've got a struggle PC, what I like to call a PC that is barely able to, you know, run the game comfortably and, you know, run it at like higher graphic settings, then um, I would come down and maybe give about 15 drivers, maybe opponents you want to put in. If your PC is fine, then you can just leave it at, 29 anything above 29 it will give you a message about your cpu and stuff like that and of course if you've got a beast of a pc then you can put as many cars in as you want but i i, I would say just to get your safe rating done don't go too crazy with that um put it on 15 minute race i've got it at three o'clock in in the afternoon um choose a track that you like or that you know from previous games that is the best way to get your safety rating don't try and i know it's a new game to a lot of you guys don't try and go to a track you've never done before because you're going to have to try and learn the track and learn the game at the same time which is just it's just extra so do a track you like if you come from f1 tracks like nurberg ring monza um hungaro ring barcelona all these tracks you'll know paul ricard silverstone spa you know, a lot of these tracks you, you will know from F1 games or from other games or Kota and stuff like that. Kota is a pretty tricky track, so I'd probably stay away from that one um, if you just want to get your safety rating. My advice would probably be either maybe Barcelona because there's not as many corners that you can get wrong. The thing with tracks like Nürburgring, even it's one of my favorites, but the chicane at the end is pretty difficult. So you have to sort of know the tracks that, it's very easy to like invalidate a lap or make a mistake because in certain places around Nürburgring there's like mounted curbs that can literally throw you off the circuit so I would probably say you want to be looking at maybe Barcelona or even Silverstone something nice and wide that is not as easy to go off track and make mistakes at so we we'll pull it on Barcelona and um what I would do as well is you know you want to come down to the conditions um, you can pull it on clear or I would say probably pull it towards cloudy because then the track's not as hot. Tires won't overheat as much and then, you know, the, the tires will be a lot more stable. If you have a track conditions where the track's really hot, then you could end up, you know, you probably don't know the right tire pressures and stuff like that to run. So you end up maybe burning up the tires and that will make it harder to drive. And obviously that will affect your consistency, which will affect your rating. So you wanted to make it as easy as possible you want to get through this phase as quickly as possible because the end goal is always to just get online and get racing against other people so um, i'll probably put it put that on cloudy um we've covered the we've covered the um settings for the race um the realism settings i've got them as this now whether you've got damage on or off or not it's not really going to matter if you crash because your rating's going to go down. So even if you don't want to put damage on, if you have a crash, your rating's going down regardless. So you can pretty much copy the settings I have here. Um, the formation lap, I put it to the last corner. You don't want to be doing a whole lap um, to to start your your you know your adventure into the game because it's just it's just not worth it. You only really do a full lap when you actually get into racing leagues. 
And some of these, you know, more professional racing leagues, they require you to do a full lap of preparation um, before you actually start like an hour long race or whatever. So I would put that on the last corner. Everything else should be pretty much the same as what I've got here. Um, your assist. Me personally, it again, it does depend on your level. But um, the only thing I would change here, if you're planning to race in the dark or you're planning to race in wet weather, maybe you could put these on automatic. For me personally, I have all my buttons set up. So pretty much everything here for me is on manual. But make sure you've got clutch on automatic. Otherwise, if you spin, you're going to have to start the car yourself. And you don't want to be doing that because you have to have a lot of buttons mapped to your wheel. So um, make sure that's an automatic. Probably even put the engine start also on automatic as well. And this is for you new guys. I would, I would, I would definitely tell you to learn manual a manual gearbox if you don't most people kind of already know what they're doing in that circumstance but i would say definitely learn manual it's definitely beneficial for your lap times um so if you're if you're new to the game you don't be worrying about you know setting up um buttons and all that stuff just put a lot of this stuff on automatic ideal line not a fan of that because it teaches you the ideal line to drive on a circuit not the ideal line to actually improve yourself and that's why i say use use a track that you know so you don't become you know you're not you're not having to really rely on the ideal line to tell you when to slow down and stuff you kind of want to learn you know the brakes and the braking points and stuff like that you want to learn and get used to that yourself stability and control is useless don't put it on it will slow you down so this is what i would pretty much do um if i was starting out so we'll click off of that and then as I said, we'll go into a 15 minute race. Now you can see I've put my starting position as 10th. And the reason why I put my starting position as 10th is because the safety rating actually works better when you're in and around other cars without making contact. Now, let's say you're at a decent level. You've sim raced on a ton of other games before. Um, you're going to want to be around other cars because that's what actually boosts your safety rating quicker. If you put yourself at the front, and you're able to sort of pull away from the AI, then your safety rating is not going to go up as fast because you're not around anybody. Your consistency rating will go up because maybe you can drive around by yourself without anyone troubling you. But the fastest way to get safety rating is to either be side by side with cars or to be right behind somebody without making contact. And if you can do that for two, three laps in a row, your safety rating goes up very quickly. And that's one of the reasons why, like, when I first got in the game, I was able to get my safety rating almost instantly because I did a lot of, I'm not sure if it still works, but um, if you if you used to put your your um, settings for the race at nighttime in the wet and you were driving, like, sort of side by side or really close behind somebody without contact, your, your safety rating used to get done really quick. I don't know if it still works. Um, I don't know if they've patched that, but that's what I used to do back in the day and worked very very well but let's say we're not going to do that we just want to drive i would say maybe maybe not 10th that's right in the middle of the pack the first corners can be a little bit rough maybe fifth but you want to keep yourself in and around other cars at all times and just try not to make any contact and you i promise you your safety rating will, will go up significantly quicker um so let's get started let's go into the actual lobby so now we are in the race menu and I'm, before anyone just goes straight to start race, you guys are probably going to want to click on setups and out of the two setups, I would say to go over, obviously you want to go with the aggressive. I know may, many people may think, let me go with the safe. I'm new. No, go with the aggressive, the safe. It's just not a true representation of how the car or the game actually feels once you really start driving. So forget safe setups. Just in general, you, you pretty much never want to use a safe setup. Um, and I'm not going to get into the specifics of setups at the moment. What I can tell you is that these setups are not what you're going to be. Once you get online, um, you're going to want to either, maybe you want to go buy some setups or you can go on YouTube. I'm sure you can find some free ones um, or just, just get involved in the community, man, or, you know, Apex Online Racing, get involved in these communities, get to know people. And I'm sure people will help you out with setups. Make sure you've got a Discord setup if you're on PC as well. Um, that's definitely going to help 
But um, yeah, just for now, you go with the aggressive for this. And what I will say for this car in particular, if you want to, you know, if you want to be comfortable driving, then you're gonna want to put the TC2 to eight and leave maybe TC1 on one or two. That that's my advice for people that are new to the game. Obviously, you're only doing a 15 minute race and you probably don't know the brake. You want the brake ducts to be the ones that are the most responsive, which are brake um, brake pads one. So put that to one. You're only doing 15 minutes, so you don't need that much fuel. Um, I would say just take 30 liters. Um, the tire pressures, I don't want to get too deep into those, but basically the tire pressure that you're looking for is 27.0. And once you get out on track, and you can look at your um, your little HUD display. You will see whether your tires are overheating or whatnot. You, you sort of want to have your tires at 27.0 at all times. Because that is the go-to um, tire pressure for this game. Um, other than that, we're not going to get too involved in the, in the details of setting up the car. Um, what I would say is for most people, you're going to want to put the wing to maximum as well. Um... And I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the rake. I'm not gonna touch the rake and stuff like that. There's plenty of other videos that I've done online that you can check out in terms of setting up the car and stuff like that. So um I'll save that for another video. Um what I will quickly show you guys before we get started, we're gonna go into control panel. These are my wheel settings for I've got a T three hundred. Um your wheel settings may look different. I don't know how you like your wheel, so again a lot of that depends on how you like your wheel, but I can do a video on that as well. Um, what I do want to show you guys quickly that will help you guys is setting up your hotkeys. Eventually, you guys are going to have to, um, you know, set your hotkeys up. You're going to need your buttons for stuff like to increase the traction and decrease traction, stuff like that. You're definitely going to need to set up your hotkeys for that manner. At brake bias, you see I've got hotkeys set up for my brake bias as well. Um and just just things that you may need to change during a race so i would definitely do maybe your brake bias um you're gonna want to do maybe your flasher so if you're behind someone who's maybe a lap down you want the the flashing button on but that's maybe not um not really important straight away obviously you want your set up your button so you can look behind yourself and stuff like that you cycle through your different cameras all these things can be set up on the wheel. There's loads of things that can be set up. Um, being able to cycle through your menu with your with the D-pad that most people have on their wheel, up, down, left, right sort of thing. Make sure that is um, on your user interface. But depending on what wheel you have, a lot of this will be set up automatically. But a lot of the extra things that you might want to set up um, can be found down here even if you want to change your force feedback during the race you might have a button depending on how much buttons you've got on your wheel a lot of these things can be set up we've got a lot of things set to automatic like our windscreen wipers and our lights and stuff like that but if you are one of those people that you know eventually you're going to get more experience you may want your ignition and your engine starter on via a button which mine is mine's done via a button because it allows you to turn them on quicker so realistically this is um for more advanced players but in the end all you guys are going to get there so just letting you know that you can set up control bindings for different buttons on your wheel okay um but anyway so now let's say we are ready to do our laps to try and get our safe rate up i'm going to show you guys the best way to do that um so yeah let's go so here we are about to start so for this portion you're sort of in a um, sort of an automated start procedure where you can drive as fast as you want but just realize once the speed limit comes up you're gonna have to get yourself in a correct position and if you if you go too fast then can get yourself a penalty so the green light's gone so we're going to try and stay as close to other cars as possible without hitting them
So you have to remember these races is not really about winning. It's just about getting your safety rating up. But I'm just going to drive just to get safety rating. Now my safety rating is already at 99 so I can't really get any higher. But pretty much this is what I'm going to do the whole race. Just stay really close. And even though I could easily overtake the AI, I'm not going to. I'm just going to stay as close as I can. Now, of course, there's tons of different in-car cameras you can use or external cameras so right now see how close we are we just want to keep as close as possible just like this and then just make sure you don't make contact because trust me guys you don't want to do anything that's going to jeopardize your safety rating. But if, if you do want to overtake, make sure you're able to do it cleanly. Especially when the computers, um, the AI is set quite low, they can break a little bit early, so just be aware of that. Now right here I'm going to get side by side with the AI. I'm not going to pass, I'm going to let them back through. Just try and keep the racing nice and close. I'll even let them back through here. See, the thing is, the AI will give you space, so that's the reason why we set the aggressiveness a little bit lower. Again, maybe we can push past this one. Maybe we'll wait for another lap. Now obviously, people with different skill levels, it may not be as easy to stick with them, but when you are around another car, you kind of want to make sure you're just keeping it as clean as possible. We'll catch up to these other guys. Try not to invalidate your laps as well. You can see how much I'm having to basically drive within myself. Normally you'd probably be in the 1 minute 43s around here, but just for the safety rating, 
You have to be willing to sort of drive within yourself and just be careful, you know? Again, we're going to get really close, but we're just going to stay here. Then we'll back off a little bit as we get to the braking zone. Again, we'll let the, the AI go. And this, this is basically what you want to do, guys. You just want to keep repeating this with every car you come up against. Don't try and get too aggressive. Just you don't, you don't even necessarily have to win. You just have to make sure you're just in and around other cars and your safety rating goes up very quickly. Now, let's say you've managed to do all your safety rating stuff. You've got it out of the way and now you, you're prepared to go online. Um, I'm going to give you some advice. Now, for me personally, when I first jumped in this game, going online was probably a lot easier for me at the time because everyone who I used to play with, we just pretty much jumped off a project car. So there was already a community that was kind of together, the AOR community. So there was like maybe 50 or so people that were jump straight from project cars onto ACC. So we was able to set up um, races for us to race. So most of the races were very clean and it was with people that you already knew. So it wasn't too much, you know, getting punted and people just being silly on track. So it was very easy to just jump straight in and get started. Nowadays, that's going to be completely different. Um, so what I, what I would advise you instead of jumping into a race is you probably want to go, um, Probably want to go online somewhere also make sure you pick a car that you're used to so probably stick with the car that you did your your stint with i'm going to stick with the aston martin for now um once you get to the the multiplayer menu now it can be a little bit tricky because you know there's all these different things there's the server type so you've got all cars mixed just gt3s and stuff like that so normally stick it to all and then in here is where you'll type in a server name, right? So normally what I would do is I'll type in Apex. Once you hit Apex, you'll see all the Apex online servers coming up. These are a lot of these are all hot lap servers. So if you go in here, you're going to get a bunch of probably guys that are pretty fast and maybe you don't want to be getting in their way. Stuff like that. But you will see a ton of other Apex online lobbies. Um, normally, sometimes they're, they're quite full. They're empty today because of probably the time that I'm on or the time that I'm making this video. But you can see pretty much every track. They've got a lobby for every single track. Um, and you want to do the track that you're most used to. So I would carry on doing the track that I did in to get your safety rating. You want to keep on doing those tracks until you really get to grips with it um you can also go in one of these balancer performance servers um they do have a password on these servers but you can see here it tells you what the password is so even in these um these hot lap servers it gives you the password so if you want to go in there and just practice for an hour you can literally go in there you can practice with if you want to practice high fuel runs if you want to practice tire runs or whatever um you can jump in these jump in these servers it gives you the password which is aor all in lowercase so once you you know maybe you let's find the barcelona server um the barcelona hot lap server i'm not sure if we've gone past it already on park so many servers man and obviously you want to something that's going to keep the ping down as well you don't want your ping to be exponentially high you're gonna have to go through all of these um there you go there's the barcelona server so you can see mine already has the password on it um so before i get to racing people what i would tell you guys to do is fully get used to the car try and you know try and get used to the car that you're driving 
and that way you're going to be able to get the best out of yourself and then when you get into races you know what kind of times you should and shouldn't be getting if it was like i was back in the day i would tell you just to jump straight in a race but to be honest if you jump in the public lobby right now you're probably going to get punted you know so you don't want to be sort of in the mid pack around drivers with less experience because it seems nowadays that people are just a little bit more carefree um so just come in here um obviously you didn't save the setup that you used before but this is where you can start getting used to certain things in the game you can get used to maybe building one or two setups and stuff like that you can see i've got a ton of setups um i can't remember which one i used last but they are dated so you can tell which was the last one you use which would probably be the best one um I'm gonna go with March April 4th. Use this one in October. That that's actually the most recent one, is the October setup. Okay, we'll just go with this one, it's for a different track, but we'll use it anyway. Um and then you just pretty much do laps do as many laps as you want as many laps as you feel to You've got like an hour and then once the hour's over the session will restart again get used to the car that that before you go online try and get used to the car because you don't want to just jump online and then you've got all these random people throwing dive bombs you're not completely used to the game or car yet and before you know it they will absolutely punt your safety rating back down where it was before so I would say get used to the car so you're literally you know you find maybe three or four seconds on where you were before and then when you do go into these lobbies you're probably going to qualify more towards the front in a in a in a public lobby because you've been practicing in that car with that track combination and then that way the people at the front tend to be a little bit more cleaner so that's what i would say just get yourself into one of these um private lobbies where you can just type in the password practice because practice is a lot more important than you think on this game because you find so many things that you you wouldn't even think of when you just jump straight into a race that, that that's my advice definitely come in practice once you've done as much practice as you want my personal opinion the best thing to do is i'm sorry the online public races are not where you realistically want to sort of you know get your experience from for me you want to go straight into something like lfm you guys don't know what lfm is i'm about to show you so you're going to want to come across to google um you're going to want to type in low fuel motorsport for me personally i don't have to because i have it here already set up but i'll type it in anyway there you go low fuel motorsport um you want to sign up um, all that good stuff obviously i'm already signed up been signed up for forever um and then once you get into low fuel motorsport you can see it does three different games at the moment we're not going to go into wrc because we don't play that click off this ad get away we're going to have a set of course of competition you want to click on this bit right here and then um for you guys i believe you have to get your safety rating up for this as well i'm not sure what their track is for rookies at the moment let's try and find the rookie series because i believe you have to pass you have to get your lfm license and let's see where we can do that so we're going to come over to the faq and i think this might be a little bit easier for you guys instead of me trying to explain it what's already explained here but you'll see the driver's license right here how do i get an lfm driver's license um and it will give you a brief description of what you have to do basically you have to do a hot stint where you do seven consecutive laps and your average lap time has to be within 107 percent of the lfm track record and some of these track records are pretty good but for the most people if you're at a semi-decent level this won't be too hard for you um in-game safety rating of at least eight years required so this is one of the reasons why you have to build up your safety rating in the first place that is just to get also into lfm if your safety rating is above 80 um sorry below 80 then you will not be able to race because pretty much you're saying you're dirty <laughs> okay but um 
instead of me showing you exactly how to do that there is in you if you go to the faq at the top click over to tutorial videos and dan suzuki has pretty much got a three-part structure of how you want to get um your safe terrain from from beginning to all the way up until the rookie section of the races and these are pretty detailed so the videos are here for you guys um dan suzuki another content creator if you guys don't know him pretty big in sim racing so um just come over here click on these videos definitely give them a watch if you are new because they're going to help you in how to get started with your lfm safety ratings also there are track guides as well this is done by nils naldrix who you guys don't know him you probably don't if you're new to the game he is literally one of the probably top five top five fastest guys on this game and does great tutorials he has his own setup shop where you know guys if you don't have setups you can go to his shop and he provides very detailed setups he's probably one of the best if not the best when it comes to you know motec and all that software where you can look at the telemetry and figure out where you're going wrong in terms of the setup so go ahead watch this video if you want to learn how to drive the track i think the track is is it still mazano i'm not sure it might be mazano which most people won't have raced previously so watch this lap guide and he's going to show you where you want to put the car when doing a lap around mazano so um i'm not going to get stuck into all that stuff because i'll pretty much be explaining what is already explained but once you do get your safety rating and once you are um at a point where you can start doing races um now i can't do the rookie races because obviously my rating's too high so let's just go as if this was a rookie race um and let's say it's what it's about quarter to one right now let's say i want to do the next race it has the timer here which the next race starts in about half an hour's time so i'll click on this and then it's going to give me the next sign up so the next sign up that is available is the race that's at 2 15 pm if you're doing a 25 minute races it's a race every hour and it's at quarter past the hour every hour okay so the next race is brands hatch at the moment only five people signed up and that will that will pretty much get full the closer you get to the time of the race so i think you can only sign up the latest you can sign up is about 10 minutes past the hour then after that i don't think you can sign up anymore then you've missed a race so you want to sign up make sure you sign up before you get to you know 10 past the hour otherwise you can miss the race so let's say i go to sign up right here is where you pick the car now you're gonna want to pick the car that you've been used to driving which is the aston martin v8 um you tick these two boxes you have red um make sure you do read the code of contact as well if you if you're new to um lfm um that's pretty much going to tell you what you can and can't do um and um yeah you don't want to be breaking that because you will get penalties and you don't want to you don't want to be getting penalties straight away so sign me up for the race and i'm registered i'm currently in split one which is where i'll be because my rating's a little bit higher than most people but if you're new you could end up in split two um or whatever but you'll see your lobby number is right here so this is the lobby number so what i would do when it gets closer to the time of your race you want to click this number and then you'll see it down here it copies that number and you can paste that into the into the browser so once you paste this number into the browser where i typed in before let me just show you guys you'll paste it in here so once you get to about once you get to 215 quarter past the hour you will press control and then v and then that's when you'll see that number come up and then once you press enter then you'll see the lobby and it's as simple as that literally once you literally just press control v at quarter past two when the when the um, lobby is supposed to be starting control then v enter right now obviously the server's not open yet because we're still about half an hour before it opens but once it gets to quarter past two all you have to do is click the whatever number was by the um by the actual information itself that's what will be your your number your number for the lobby so for me it will be this right here where it says session hashtag and the number you'll just click that and then you'll paste it into the um paste it into here and you'll see the server pop up here 
and then it will pop up with a password which will be lfm in lowercase the password itself is always lfm so right now i'm going to type in no fuel because the good thing about this as well is let's say you sign up for the race and you've got half an hour until the race starts you can then go find a practice server which is going to be practicing around the same tracks that you're driving at so we need to find brand hatch let's go back up to the top so you can see brand hatch right here people are in there 26 people at 50 people are practicing for this race the password is the same as what the race will be so just i'm here type in lfm put it on the car that you're going to be using which again is the aston Type that password in again. LFM. Now I know the new the UI is a little bit difficult. Actually, that's not a practice server. That's the main server. You want to make sure it says practice and not um split one or whatever because this is actually a live race. You wouldn't be able to get in anyway because it's already been registered. But you want to find the actual practice session. All these are different tiers. This is split free. So depending on whatever split you're in and it tells you again if i just go back to google it tells me i'm in split one so this is where you'll know what server to go to because it tells you right here your your split so let's say you're in split three right your code here would maybe be a little bit different but um once the once the lobby is up this is this is pretty much what you'll see you'll see the lobby it will look something like this um it would look something like this but it will say split free here so you'll know because your number here will be the same as the number that is on the information of the picture which you use to paste into the into the server browser right here so password will be lfm in lowercase but what we want to do right now is we want to find a practice server to practice driving around just practice the track so we'll go here because it says right now coach dave gt3 series sprint series dry practice eu and this is practice two this is the second practice lobby which is probably not as fast as practice one which is if you're new probably what you want to look out for again you kind of don't want to be getting in people's way if you know you're sort of four or five seconds off the pace so um try and pick the lobby that is applicable to your level but again also if you want to go into practice server one no one's actually stopping you and it's a great way to learn because you can sit back and watch some of the fast guys go around maybe copy some of the things they're doing and um definitely find some pace but i'm going to jump into the practice server and then yeah once you get in there you'll see lobbies normally stacked full of people you can see there's all different levels some people are three and a half seconds off the pace this guy at the front is pretty quick 22.5 and then there's no one pretty much no one within a second of him so you just use this to, to you know hone your skills the, the session i think is like an hour and a half and then it restarts once it's finished so there's, there's no rush and you know you've got to you know you've got like another 20 25 minutes before the race starts always keep an eye on the time um you know the race starts in at quarter past the hour so keep an eye on the time you don't want to forget that your race is starting and just get hooked into practice because you will lose rating points if you if you miss a race that you're signed up for so you don't want to do that make sure you're keeping an eye on the time but if you want to come in here and practice before your race you can practice sort of you know your fuel load how much fuel you need normally fuel is about i remember rightly it's about 46 liters depending on the car i think 46 liters is normally good um and just work on your setup man this is where you put the practice in to work on your setup for the race and um yeah that's that's pretty much how you get started in lfm when it comes to races once you've sort of done your practice and then you start the race or whatever um as i said before you would just type in that server number and when you do go into the lfm actual race it has like a two minute practice session now you don't you're not supposed to actually leave the pits in this two minutes you have to wait until qualifying starts and then once qualifying started 
you will qualify i think qualifying is is it 15 minutes i think it's 15 minutes long qualifying and then obviously then you'll go ahead and have the race make sure when you're doing your setups or whatever you have a qualifying setup and you have a race setup. Now I'm going to show you guys the difference. We're going to jump back in the server again quickly. And um, I'm going to show you guys why you need two. Because obviously if you're if you're doing a... <clears throat> let's just say this is a qualifying setup. You're going to want the fuel to be substantially lower. Because obviously it's quicker, right? So your qualifying setup. You want maybe, maybe around 10 or 11 liters. Um... That's just to make sure the car is as light as it can be. It normally takes maybe two or three laps to get the tires in the perfect position. So you want to do sort of two, three runs every time you do a qualifying lap. So you maybe might get two runs in maximum. Shorter track runs hatch. So you probably get maybe three runs in. But you want you want to get sort of two or three laps in. So you run about 11 liters for quali. And then once you, once quali's finished, you, you're you going to want to up your fuel to like 46 liters and that's obviously going to be because you're doing a 25 minute race um and all races on the, in the sprint series are 25 minutes no pit stops so make sure you you're setting one setup you will do maybe 11 liters and then you'll save it come over here to save down the bottom and just save it as quality boom do that then do another setup where you'll change the fuel load save this again and you'll just save it as race and that way you know you have your fuel sorted your fuel will always be sorted so you know when you go into quali you load that one when you go into race you load the race setup and that's pretty much it because what LFM does is it does the same sprint race throughout the week. So you know exactly what track you're doing every single week. Um, and you just have to, across the week, you will end up getting faster and faster and faster because you just get more and more used to the track. You know, you'll end up knowing the exact amount of fuel you need. Sometimes the conditions may vary in terms of, you know, wet weather, dry weather, nighttime, morning or time of day. How cool the track temps are but those things you'll have to adjust your tire pressures for but once you've got a, a steady setup that you like all it is really is just adjusting tire pressures your fuel load will pretty much stay the same and it's just about getting used to the track and improving during the week and that's what it's all about in lfm you get good clean races there's a rating system it's going to be a lot cleaner than just jumping in a public lobby and you get to enhance your skills around a track and because there's a calendar throughout the next couple of months um you're gonna get to race on a load of different tracks man you're really gonna get used to the car so let me jump back out of that um what can i show you guys next we're gonna go back on lfm because i'm i'm not actually i'm not actually going to do this race but just wanted to show you guys if you do so you do sign up for a race and like for this race i'm signed up let's say something comes up um your kid's sick at school you gotta go and pick your kid up just go here and sign out do you really want to withdraw from the race whoops click yes and then boom you're signed out make sure you do that don't just leave yourself in the lobby and then don't turn up as i said you'll definitely lose safety rating for that um you don't want to do that um and it actually gives you some information about the kind of race you're going to be doing in-game times will be um 11 o'clock um close to midnight so you know you're going to be racing in the dark and this is why i would say make sure you've got you know make sure you've got your your buttons on your wheel set up obviously you've got the headlights on automatic so if you're racing at night time you're going to get a warning that you need your headlights on so that's why i'll say leave maybe leave some things on automatic so the so the game will do it for you and your headlights will already be on but me personally i like to do everything manually so I have a button set for my headlights um, and just make sure you read some of the information. It'll tell you sort of the weather you're going to be driving in. Like, for instance, let's say you're not confident in the rain and it says like 80 percent wet weather. You know, maybe maybe I don't want to sign up for this race. I'm not that confident. And I need to practice more. And, you know, that's a legitimate thing for some people. So, you know, just make sure you keep an eye on some of the information. Now, um, 
I'm going to show you guys more of what you can do when you're on LFM. I'm going to go to my account. Um, and it, it just gives you like a, a brief rundown, man. Just shows um, how I got my license. Um, that was back in 2021. I had to do like seven consecutive laps. We, we did that. Um, shows my, my um, normally in tier one, it shows my ranking and stuff here. Shows your, your stats, all that good stuff. If you've had penalties and stuff like that, or you've, you've had to put in any reports, all this stuff is recorded, man. All this stuff is recorded. It shows your past races. So there's a lot of information you can go back and look at and see how well you've done. <clears throat> I think it even shows like your, like your, your fastest lap through for every track. Sure. Where is that? <laughs> um, sure it shows your fastest laps i can't remember where to find it man but, um if you if you're someone who wants to stream then you can put this into your your browser and it shows you your rating you can put that sort of underneath your camera or whatever this is just something it looks a little bit cool when you want to stream and stuff like that let's go back into nfm and then let's let's say we're going to um go back to sprint let's say we want to do uh, a longer race a 45 minute race now this race is starting in 50 seconds so we'll be too late to sign up for the next one so the next race is at 2 p.m i don't think we too late to sign up for that one but let's say we wanted to sign up for um the one at four o'clock which is two hours away it's the same sort of thing just pick your car whatever car you want to use but these races have a pit stop in it, a mandatory pit stop. So just know it's a little bit different and you have to make sure you get your fuel correct because you're making a pit stop. So um, you don't want to, you don't want to not have enough fuel in the car. You need to make sure you set, set that up. But again, that is something we can cover later. Most people are not going to want to be doing 45 minute races and pit stops when they start the game. I would suggest sticking to sprint races while you're not, you know, as experienced. Um, this is for the pros. This right here, you probably, you won't be able to get into any of the top splits because everyone in the top split is extremely highly ranked. Um, this is also um, streamed as well. So this is a live event. Happens every Thursday, I believe now. So um, this is something you can watch on, on Twitch. Um, um, low fuel motorsport it's in german and and in english as well so just look out for this on twitch and if you watch the pro guys go at it if you want to compete in this i feel like there is a few different splits as well but only the top split has got like live stewarding so if someone punch you in the race there's live stewards to give out penalties so that's another thing on low fuel um low fuel motorsport then on the sunday we have the endurance race and that is basically that is basically the the whatever the um the the main race was for the week which is the 45 minute race the gt3 series race then that's what track they were used for the endurance on sunday it's normally like a three hour endurance driver swap you can do it with your friends again probably a little bit more towards the people that are not as new to the game but within a month or two you may be ready to do some endurance races so you can you know if you've got a couple of friends up on a race as well you can sign up for these all three of you and then do some endurance races man um as well if you click on sprint race which is what most people do then you can actually come down here and you can have a look at the, the schedule so we're on brands hatch this is week two it shows you what track you'll be doing next and week three is catalonia so let's say that's the track you've practiced for you know that Catalonia is coming up. This will be the time to grind. This will be the time to put the time in. Um, it's a circuit that you know. So it will be very easy to, you know, get used to this circuit, get get some good racing in. And this is where you sort of want to build up your rating, especially when you're doing tracks that you know in a car that you know. Um, make sure you're doing as many races as you can because this is going to get your rating as high as you can get it because it's something that you're familiar with and you can keep going down you can see what's for the rest of the weeks silverstone nurburgring spa 
um, Imola, uh, Valencia, Kielami, Paul Ricard, Mizano. And week 12, the last track is Donington. And again, if you was to click on the GT3 series, it's the same thing. You can check out the schedule. And again, it's, it'll be all different tracks. So um, that is how you go about jumping into LFM. Um, also, you can look at recent sessions, right? So let's say, you know, you, you've been practicing Brands Hatch and you want to look at, you know, how fast people have been. So you can click on like recent sessions and you can click on this and you can go and you can see what pole position was in split one hair. Probably not too sure why it's so slow. Probably it was possibly raining, I would say. If, if they're doing one minute 27s, that's probably just like five seconds off the pace. So it was probably raining for that one. Um, but again, go into another session you can see the names of the winner who won the race um normally it'll be someone who's pretty quick it must have best lap a one minute 28 it's gotta have been raining bro it was definitely raining because you see split two is faster than split one so that means it was definitely wet for these races which again may be scary for some people let's go down a little bit more Yeah, 13% rain. A lot of wet races, man. A lot of wet races. Interesting. Seems as if some of these races were wet. Jumping here. Okay, 23 0. This was definitely a dry race. Um, and you can see what lap times people are doing in the race. You can go to qualifying results. You can see what the qualifying pace was. It even gives you the sector times. So you can really dissect where you need to be and where you need to improve if, you, if you're struggling with your own times. And that's what I like about LFM, a lot of information, um, a lot of things that can help you improve and things you, you can look at to sort of get yourself better. Also, there are other races you can do, BMW M2 Cup. Um, some of these races not as popular though. I would definitely stick to the GT3 Sprint because um, it's every hour. And it's easy to get used to it. And pretty much these are going to be the races that most people will be in. So um, that's where you want to cut your teeth. Definitely in the sprint series. That's how you're going to get used to LFM. Now, if you, you do LFM on a regular, you're really getting used to the game. You've definitely upped your levels and ability. Then I would say maybe you might want to also sign up for something like Apex Online Racing. Um, at the moment there isn't any sign ups here but when there is a sign up i would definitely say come over to apex online racing you want to probably join the discord so you can keep up to speed when when the new season start because obviously once you sign up to these a lot of fast people do these um it tends to be loads of different splits loads of different splits if i go to standing you see there was seven tiers seven tiers full of like 40, 50 people, man. So this is where you want to, you know, if you want to get a little bit serious and Apex Online Racing is every week on the, if you're in Split 1, it's on the Monday. If you're in any of the other splits, it'll be on the Tuesday. So Split 1 is Monday, it's streamed. Split 2 is also streamed, but that's on the Tuesday. The races are from 7.30, I believe. So the races start 7.30 in the evening. Normally an hour-long race, so it's not, it's not any of these sort of sprint races. You can have an hour long race and a few races a season. I believe we do a 90 minute race as well. So um, it's a little bit more advanced, but once you're up to speed with LFM, I'm sure getting to know AOR won't be too difficult. But again, you have to do a hot stint to, to qualify for your split. So you do two tracks and I believe it is, is it, is it three consecutive fast laps, I believe? You got to do three consecutive laps fast as possible around two different tracks. So the tracks we did last time was Barcelona, Nurburgring, and um, you can see the guys are extremely fast, extremely fast. So um, this is going to this is going to determine where you are uh, in terms of what split you ended up in. I, I actually did a pretty decent time. This is me here. Last time I managed to do a pretty fast time. I actually used a Bentley. And 
again for AOR and for LFM they do use custom BOP because the BOP on the game is pretty broken at the moment so you'll see a lot of names here that you might recognize if you watch people's streams you'll see a lot of the fast guys right here um and this is pretty much once you're more advanced into the game this is you know if you want to do more league races these are the type of places that you want to come but yeah i don't want to go on for too long guys man i feel like i've fitted a lot into this video hopefully you guys watched as much as you can i gave you sort of a rundown how to get started and how to get started from how to get into more advanced things the advice i'd give to you guys is definitely stay away from the public lobbies because you ain't going to do anything apart from just lose safety rating so once you've got your safety rating up get yourself into lfm it's the most structured racing you can get involved in and it's going to be a lot cleaner than public lobby so i hope this was a big help to you guys man it's cryptic tmg like and subscribe also guys as well my um my beats for streams spotify is up so if you guys want to listen to some cool music <laughs> while you're chilling then my beats for streams is up for you guys i'll get it up on the screen now as well and also um sure there's like tons of setups tons of setups on videos you can find on youtube if you guys need help with setups or you can go on set base and find some setups there what i might actually start doing is i might actually start putting um some setup folders on my patreons that you on my patreon that you can purchase for a small price so guys make sure you do check that out also as well i have my um performance unleash performance unleash um tuning book which is going to help you guys with with car setup and on a ton of different aspects of the game help you guys understand tuning and stuff like that not just for acc but just the general rule of thumb on how to tune in sim racing that is also up on amazon i also put it up on the screen the link is also in the in the description if you want to purchase that as well but it's crypto tng like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace